Hello everyone and welcome to our game of World of Warships. Today it's once again me playing and I'm in the Okotnik, the tier 5 Russian premium destroyer. I'm on the map Archipelago in a standard battle. And well, I'm top tier which is amazing. There are two carriers which is a little bit less amazing and there are a lot of destroyers. Now carriers can be a problem if they spot me, because obviously as a destroyer you want to work with your concealment. It's unfortunately a standard battle, this ship is a lot more fun in domination. And generally I prefer domination. But this ship has great concealment, so you are very good at taking capture points. Also with that many guns you are very good at, well, taking out other destroyers. So it's quite nice that there are so many enemy destroyers, I guess. Now here in the beginning I decided to stay in the north, which is a bit more of a defensive move. You stay closer to your cap, but mostly you want to intercept the enemy ships that uh, towards the north. You could also push more aggressively towards the south, or you could try to a bit more around the islands in the center as a destroyer, but carriers tend to just fly here through the middle a lot in my experience, and I really don't want to be spotted. So first target, enemy Isokase, and well, that was a detonation. Uh, terribly sorry. Okay, not really, but um, good start, good start. So now I'm using my smoke because there is some return fire coming and the Okotnik is a really big target. Also she does have a lot of range. I think it's like a 9 km base range. I have advanced firing training so my range is like 11 km. In a tier 7 game this can be a real problem because ships are just more accurate in higher tiers and at 11 kilometers a big target like you isn't that hard to hit but uh tier 5 it's it works rather well and here we see a furutaka showing broadside which means uh armor piercing and hello citadel now unfortunately after the citadel i'm afraid that furutaka will burn or oh, well maybe not so yeah, he's turning away now. My mob piercing isn't strong enough. We have much use against an angle target, so I'm going back to high explosive here. And there are some torpedoes coming my way. I'm using my engine boost just to get away faster. It's probably not needed, but makes it easier to avoid those torpedoes. And well, I'm afraid my division mate here takes a torpedo. But I mean, overall, we are two ships ahead, it's looking pretty good, and this Furutaka is still around, so I decide to continue shooting. Now I'm getting detected here, I left my smoke when I dodged those torpedoes. And I gotta be careful, I mean, I see how many ships are targeting me with one ship, it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Some of the enemies are currently behind an island. But uh, if too many ships target me, as I said, this, this ship is... Well, I mean, from from your size, you're more like a cruiser, so you aren't that hard to hit. And, well, another enemy is taken down. It's looking pretty good for our team. I'm turning a little bit away here. I want to stay at close to maximum range. I mean, my maximum range isn't that high anyway just to make it harder for them to target me. But yeah, I have to be careful. I'm sailing out of the firing range of those ships. And let's be honest, they, at least battleships will still have trouble hitting me at like 11 kilometers. Emerald probably less so. But my team is pretty dominating. So I can also play a little bit more risky. My division mate on very low health is asking about smoke at this time. We were in voice chat when we played this. And my smoke's almost ready, so I prepare to set some smoke for my division mate. I'll set a wall here. He can now turn around and hopefully use it. And we shall see. I mean, I could try to use the smoke myself. We have some spotting here. Or I could just sail around some more 
But you know we have more than enough spotting, so could just stay. Uh, meanwhile, an emerald is just sitting there broadside on. And hello citadels. Now this emerald has a little bailed with his smoke and sailed out of it, a common problem of English ships. And at tier 5 it's not that surprising that he isn't as experienced using this smoke yet. Unfortunately for him, uh, got citadel a lot. Now I decided to just charge in, probably not the most sound tactic, but definitely a fun one. And we are way ahead, so I'm comfortable with taking this risk. So, uh, still had armor piercing loaded, now switching back to high explosive, and I held two launches back because I expected that there might be some dodging going on. But, you know, my teammate managed to hit the battleship with torpedoes, so now my torpedoes go for the next target. And I don't think this uh, zone wall sliding Wyoming has a good chance of dodging. So, bye. And there is my third kill. Now also to note that an enemy destroyer is hunting our carrier. Our carrier doesn't have much chance of escaping and afterwards that destroyer is probably going for our cap. Now my division here, we have two destroyers and a cruiser. We could react pretty fast, but we have a decision to make. We, I mean, it's too late for this carrier most likely, but somebody has to defend the cap. But as I said, uh, there's still some time left and we are fast ships. Now currently I decided to just go for the boat. My division mates are debating if they want to turn around and defend already and they decided in the end to take care of the enemy destroyer. Which allowed me to just stay here and farm some damage, get some juicy high explosive citadels on a carrier because the carrier doesn't really have a sort of armor. Now I'm only using my front guns here, I can't turn enough to use my rear guns, at least not turning in the direction that I want. I still wanna have the option to turn around if needed be, although there really shouldn't be a need if my division decides to defend. That said, uh, my carrier, uh, my cruiser friend is on rather low health. And hey, found ourselves an Isokase here. Now the Isokase is obviously the more dangerous ship than the Langley currently. So I'm going for the Isokaze. And he is nicely enough just sailing here broadside on. Broadside matters only because it makes him an easier target. I mean you can't really citadel and citadel a destroyer. And I got myself confederate. And Kraken. So yay for me. Only uh, Langley left and some more damage to farm. Meanwhile, my division is almost in our cap, and so is the enemy destroyer, but uh, I think the Skulls who and the Wyoming are coming also to defend, so nothing to worry about with my division, making sure that the destroyer will be unsuccessful, I just continue arming some damage for more sweet experience. And well, somebody else got the kill on the destroyer, but it doesn't matter, I've already got my Kraken. And yeah, now I uh, meant carrier, not destroyer, obviously. Uh, but there is one destroyer remaining and he is hunted down by my team, so yeah, pretty soon this will be a sweet victory. Now let's take a look at the results. I got myself 1463 base experience and I'm quite happy with that. It was a short sweet game and yes it was obviously a bit of seal clubbing. But yeah playing some lower tiers now and then can be quite a bit of fun. I earned myself a devastating strike, confederate kraken and first blood and scored 83,000 points of damage. So I hope you enjoyed this sweet little match and I'll see you guys next time.